Hey Scorpio, it's Elle. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm work, I'm working, I'm waking up and working with you, okay? Trying to still get uh, awake, basically. <laughs> I hope everybody is doing well this morning. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be notified every time I do post a new video. Like, comment, share, share your love and support. As always, guys, please keep it positive. If you would like a personal reading, that information will be in the description box below how to reach me, how to make a payment, guys. Um, also, uh, if you'd like to donate, these are free readings. Any donations are much appreciated. Many of you guys know if you follow me for a while, I'm a single mother. I've been through hell and back. And I went through uh, uh, cancer and my healing journey with you guys. And this past year has been me, you know, healing and getting back into life slowly. Um, it's been, it's been a journey and I appreciate everybody that has been on this journey with me and show me love and support. Um, I am, you know, if you follow me, you know, I have started back at another salon trying to build clientele after not working for years. It's been a very slow, painful process. So funds are tight for me right now, trying to make this adjustment and we are having to make an emergency move. Um, unfortunately, uh, for our safety, it is necessary. We have found a place. Um, thank you, God. And it's just, we got to make it happen now and happen fast. So I love you guys so, so much for all the love and support that you guys have shown me. You guys are wonderful. Um, please, if you would like to donate, I have a GoFundMe link in the description box below. If anybody would like to donate, even if it's a dollar, you know, all that adds up, right? So we would really, really appreciate it because we do have to make a super fast move. Um, and that's it. That's all I can say about it. Um, I'll talk more about it after we're out up here. <laughs> all right. So I love you guys. Let's go ahead and hop into it. Uh, spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio, sun, moon, rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Archangel Michael, please block any negative energy being sent our way. Send it back into the universe and to nothingness. Amen. All right. What messages do we have for Scorpio today? What messages do we have for Scorpio today? Happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. All right, Scorpio. Yeah. If you're feeling this way, right? When you feel this energy, when you feel happy, green is that heart chakra energy. When you've got happiness in your heart, you know you're headed the right way, right? When things are making you feel good, things are happy, things are bringing a loving, happy vibration, take that as a sign that yes, I'm going the right way right now, okay? And then forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Preach it, fucking preach it, right? So again, with this energy, right? Staying in that shit does nothing good for anybody. You know, I have had to disconnect from so many energies in my life that are this way, right? That are people that you meet that you think, where well, they're pretty on the outside, they seem spiritual, they seem happy, they but no, they're full of hate and resentment and anger and all kinds of shit deep down inside that they're not willing to let go of. But what does it do? It fucking hurts you, not the person you're angry about, right? So... And I've even lived in that vibration before and it sucks and it's low and it doesn't do anything good, right? So again, the acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. It just does, right? So you can't be angry with anybody but yourself if you're blocking a flow that brings abundance into your life. You can point the finger all day long. It's this person's fault. It's this person's fault. It's this person's fault. But well, who is, is it? We all have personal responsibility. The biggest one is forgiving you and yourself. And sometimes a lot, this is coming up. You need to hear that somebody needs to hear that there is an anger and resentment that you are hanging on to you that is only hurting you. Okay. Doesn't matter what this person did. They could have tried to fucking kill you. You know what I mean? Who knows, right? There could, I mean, something horrible. There's, there's things sometimes that we're like, you know, there are things that could, that are unforgivable, right? Maybe not verbally to this person. I'm not saying forgive them for some shit like that. I'm saying forgive them in your heart so you can move forward in a higher vibration and receive the blessings that you are divinely entitled to here on this planet, my loves. Okay? Okay. Let's keep going. What other messages do we have for my lovely Scorpios today? Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers, right? So if you have doubt in your mind about something right now, 
spirit is saying, look, you don't, I mean, sometimes we don't know, right? We are never going to know all the answers that we would like to know. We need to know whatever. And that sucks. But sometimes we got to just release that shit, right? Getting stuck in that vibration isn't good either. There is, I release the need to know all the answers right now you, on how things are going to work out. What, you know, where you'll be in a year from now, whatever this is that could be creating a level of doubt energetically in your mind, spirit wants you to release it. Okay. It's going to be a better vibration for you to be in. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. This came out twice yesterday. This came out twice. Losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So this doesn't mean it's gone forever. This could mean losing something has been an opportunity to appreciate what you do have or what you had, okay? Denial. Somebody's been in denial. It was in the last reading. So we've got denial here. And this doesn't have to be your energy. Energy, excuse me. This could be somebody that you are also connecting with. But this is I acknowledge my fear but I, and replace it with the insight of awareness. One more friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Some of you intuitively know this already. All right. With the third eye energy blue. I mean, not blue. Uh, Freudian slip though. Nothing comes out on accident. I feel like in readings, but that purple third eye energy, right? Friendship. I understand that there is a freeze, a freeze. <laughs> I can't talk today. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. That's your freezing, right? <laughs> they're there for a reason. You know it. You know it. You know it. You know it. It's They're there. So there's definitely a friend here in your life at this time that's been put there for a reason. I believe people come into our life at certain times for reasons, right? Good or bad. But most of the time when it, it's a good, right? It's a good to help you along the way to give you some type of assistance. This could li literally be an earth angel here showing up in your energy. There we go. Breathing and living just like you. Okay. What other messages do we have in regards to this reading for Scorpio? Fear. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. What are you so afraid of? Somebody's afraid of a friendship, afraid of a love here. Maybe you've been really damaged in the past. This is that forgiveness. You've got to forgive the past for what they did to you. So this doesn't keep playing out in your new, in your new friendships or your new relationships. Okay. Peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Preach it. Spirit's coming through today, right? Exactly. You say this all day if you have to. I'm a being of love. I release all negative energy. Easier said than done. I'm a being of love. I release all negative energy. Hmm. It's going to free you. It's going to free you. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. All right, Scorpio, let's get into it. Let's see what other messages we have today for you. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising with any other messages you would like for them to receive. All right, Scorpio. Ooh, we. This is why. This is why. All right, you've had either, it says, take care, enemies are working against you, right? Ah, okay. So I get it now. There's the energy of like, this is the shit that you have to forgive and release. Don't forgive them to your face, to the face, you know, because for me, pff, there's some people that did some shit to me. I'm like, there's no way in hell I'm ever forgiving you to your motherfucking face. I forgave you energetically a long time ago to heal myself. Okay. Don't ever mistake me for somebody that is weak, that has no idea what's going on in life or with people because I'm a Scorpio and I'm extremely highly intuitive. Okay, so, sorry. Um, 
This is it, Scorpio, right? Take care. Enemies are working against you. You already have, you got the memo. You know it, but you do need to not live in fear. There are friendships and people in your life where, again, this past shit could be fucking with you um, in regards to moving forward. But I do feel like there are healthier energies also around you. Um, and that spirit is really trying to guide you in a different direction that will create freedom, you know, and sometimes if there is change, like enemies working against you could just simply be a group of people that you used to chill with, that you don't vibe with anymore. You've outgrown that they don't want to, they don't want to go the, the direction that you want to go in. They want to stay sick. They want to stay unhealthy. They want to stay in a low vibration and you don't. And sometimes it pisses people the fuck off crazy, but it happens. Okay. What other messages do we have in regards to this energy? Aries season, the month of April could be significant. Somebody's birthday could be in April. This could be somebody that's working against you. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but the energy is there. I do feel like there is just significance about the month of April coming up. Okay. And then great happiness. Damn Scorpio. All right. All right. All right. Somebody's trying to block this for you. Somebody wants your happiness. If you feel like somebody's been trying to hit you with spell work with money and all kinds of shit, you might be right. But look, you uh, have the ability to block it. And then look, great happiness is here with the heart. So through April, you got to get into the vibration. Like, you know, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. I'm going to be motherfucking happy. Say it just like that. All right. <laughs> what other messages do we have for Scorpio? Scorpio. <laughs> a Scorpio. Okay. You got a new job career coming your way. I love it. Um, someone new entering your life. Scorpio chair filled feeling tied down and frustrated. Okay. This might be the current energy or recent past, but you know what? We can rise above this. All right. Changes are happening already. Right. Um, as we speak them into existence, increase in material wealth and spiritual growth with the goldfish are coming your way, my friends. All right. What else do we have here? Let's hop into love since I am in a hurry today. Um, I'm going to try to get a couple more messages out today too, but I'm going to have to take a little break in between and get showered and myself together and stuff. So uh, I just wanted to do some quick energy check-ins for this morning for my lovely Scorpios. All right, Scorpio, person on your mind. Okay, who are we thinking about, Scorpio? Person on your mind, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about Scorpio? They think about you, you're a free spirit. They, they look at you and you're like, wow, you're also very guarded, Scorpio. It's all mysterious. There's an energy about you that's different, right? You've got a free spirit. And then with a the magician, it's almost magical, right? This is the energy of, wow, how does Scorpio do that, right? So you've got somebody looking at you. I like it. I like it. I like the way they see you here, okay? So let's see. What does Scorpio's person, how do they feel about Scorpio? How does Scorpio's person feel about Scorpio? Hmm. All right, Scorpio. Uh, you are a free spirit and this person kind of wants to tame it. That's cute, not cute, but I don't think in a, it's kind of like, uh, they want to dominate it. And I hope it's the best way to say it, in a fun sexual way, I guess. I don't know. Right. So um, they want you to be their free spirit. <laughs> Let's put it that way. We've got the lovers here. So this is somebody that you do really have a mutual attraction and desire for Scorpio. So this could be somebody that you already know or have had some type of attraction or interaction with, with the ace of pentacles. That's a, a new, a new beginning. This person, um, in their heart space would like to be blessed with a new beginning. Oh, that's sweet. Um, okay. Or they feel like, you know, uh, they would be blessed to have a beginning with you. All right, what is the, uh, this person's actions, what actions will Scorpio's person be taking towards them? All right, the Hermit, Temperance, Six of Pentacles. Um...
with the hermit showing up here, this person is feeling divinely guided here when there's in regards to you. However, this makes sense, Scorpio. I don't know. There's they're feeling divinely guided when it comes to you. Um, they feel like They want to offer you something like equal. If there was like, you know, something unfair or not equal in the past, if this is a past energy, um, then it's somebody coming back with that energy. Now, if it's not a past energy, this is someone who is looking at the situation like, damn, I got to come at Scorpio the right way. Okay. Um, they're really doing some some thinking about it, right? They're, they're doing some soul searching here, right? Is this what I want to do? I do feel like when they're praying, when they're doing soul searching, because the hermit also is somebody that does seek wisdom through spiritual enlightenment. This is somebody that could pray, could meditate, they, they could believe in like, you know, um, looking for signs from the universe, spirit, whatever. This person could be having some like um, epiphany, aha moment. They're getting synchronicities, signs, things that are, making them think of you or something like that wanting that they're just contemplating about action that they would like to take and feeling like spirit is guiding them to take it okay what other message so this could be somebody that had a different opinion about you in the past okay or some type of it could have been like judging a book by its cover or there's something about your energy they didn't See, okay, because this is somebody looking at you differently with like adoration. There's something here they're seeing. Yeah, they see how loving and nurturing you are. There's like, there's a different opinion about you than this person had in the past that's motivating this energy, this decision, this need, or this feeling like I want to go there. Um, Nine of Cups. It's like you're a wish come true. That's really sweet. It's really corny, but it's almost like, wow, how did I not see this? Or they're looking at you like that's everything that I've ever wanted, right? Wished for. But um, they're just trying to come up with a plan now. <laughs> Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This person's person, person is very strategic in the way they move, period, in life, period, right? Not just with you. So this is somebody, Scorpio, that is really, you know, it kind of feels like they like everything to be done like perfectly or they're a perfectionist or is there something about their energy just like, <sighs> everything's really thought out. Every, every decision this person makes, it's like they really think about it. What else? They feel it, you feel it. It's there with the lovers. There could be even another person. Cause there th there's two women here. Somebody might have to disconnect from somebody else's energy. Cause that could be a plan here. Strategic thinking, how do I make this work? How do I move? That's been coming up a lot for you guys too. Somebody, it's like seeing They know somebody's going to be unhappy in a situation with the Ten of Swords, but they're still moving slowly in a different direction regardless. It's like I, there's this pull. There's this pull towards you. They're being pulled towards you, Scorpio. All right. There's Ass Man again. Ass Man is back. Okay. <laughs> He's your soulmate. There's the Two of Cups. Sorry. <laughs> Oh God, I'm being silly this morning, but Ass Man is back. Okay, so for some of you, Ass Man is back. Mm-hmm, all right. Final outcome, best advice for Scorpio. Oh, we didn't do signs, all right. Oh, oh, okay, Scorpio, you are being watched by this person. If you felt it, you are. They're watching you somehow, whether it's social media, somewhere hopefully not in the bushes right um scorpio energy you could be dealing with another scorpio could be dealing with a cancer 
and Capricorn, Ener Capricorn energy. These also could be placements in someone's chart. Cancer energy is also moon energy. Okay, so it also could be things that have been hidden will no longer be hidden, whether it's a desire for somebody um, or whatever's going on here, Scorpio. Because remember, we did have hidden enemies in a situation. Now, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? Open your eyes. There's something more going on in a situation. All right. And then you've got angels protecting you. I'm going to leave it there, babies. I love you. I hope this message was helpful. All right. And remember, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. You do. Not anybody else. All right. I love you. Bye.